Welcome back, Nana here again. So in this one, we are going to see about how to enable the Redwood pages for purchase orders. So that is now under progress actually. So they have enabled it. So I'll now show you about how to do that for the purchase orders. So if you go and then have a look at the screen now, the procurement, we have purchase orders is there. If you click on the purchase orders, you will now find the classic page only. So the classic page will be coming, but now uh, they have enabled the Redwood page for the purchase orders also, for which a privilege is required on the role actually. So go there and click on it, and then if you click on it, you will now find the classic page where we can create our manage orders, create order, everything except for the So now I am going to change this to what Redwood enabled the purchase orders. Go there and click on it. So what I did is I made one custom row and then add the privilege. And then go there and go to tools. Go to the secretary console. I created one custom row from the existing procurement manager actually. So go there and then have a look at the roles now. <clears throat> the roles so it is now starting on zero two no. zero two you can now see it's a procurement manager role so zero two advanced procurement requester is there and then you have procurement manager and this is for purchase requisitions but there is no required actually because every page has been converted into ssp page now so this custom role of a advanced procurement request is no more required the normal advanced procurement request is so sufficient that will be landing you up on the SSP page of Redwood. But for the purchase orders, you have to customize it. And maybe they will also be bringing it in the normal one, actually. Zero to procurement manager. If you go there, and then I will now show you, I will now click on what ED. I already made a copy from the original procurement manager into zero to procurement manager. So I gone to the functional area. So I added one extra privilege here. Fine. Manage purchase orders using a Redwood page. This is the privilege I added. So once when you add it, then what happens? A new page will be coming up for you. I click on the cancel. I done it. So let me what happens? Query my user. I will now query my user. Now my user is zero one underscore. And then let me remove the existing. Procurement manager and then add this customized role with this extra privilege. So click on edit now. Yeah, editing it. And then I will now go for the procurement manager. Let me remove it and resume it out. It's now gone. So let me add my zero to procurement manager. Zero to procurement manager. I'm going to add this is having one extra privilege that will now display the purchase orders. So I let me click on the no point. No, so it's not having it. I click on save and close now because of which what happens, you will now get one extra page for this no point over to over and about to the normal classic page. You will be getting one extra page on. Redwood page actually that will be coming because of this. So whenever you make any changes to the security console, have a habit of logging out and logging in for the changes to take effect actually. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes what happens? You have to wait, wait for three or four minutes for the changes to take place also. So log out and wait for three or four minutes, and then afterwards what happens? Log in. That is the best way to do it. So we are now done it now. If I click on done, and then in this place what happens if you go there? We go to the procurement. If you go to the procurement, go to the procurement. So we have this as a normal page now. And in this place, what happens? You will now find one purchase orders new will be coming up. So uh, I, I think we can even add it as a page here also. I'm not very sure about it. So we'll not try that also. Fine. Uh, purchase orders new will be coming up. You know, fine. Purchase orders, purchase orders new will be coming once when I log out and log in. 
another. So click on it. And then sign out and sign. This is a normal page which you have seen now in the purchase orders. Sign out and then sign in. So any changes on the security console, you have to log out and log in for the changes to take place. If it is still not happening, run the import user role on LDAP also. So there are two additional uh, utilities through which you can even try for the changes to take effect actually, but normally it happens now. For the change in the security console, log out and login is more than sufficient. Now I go to the procurement, now I click on the procurement. In this one, you can now see the purchase orders new has to come now, it is not yet come. <clears throat> only the purchase orders there. If you click on it, it is an existing one only. So I told you that it will not take some time for the changes to take place. Now when purchase orders new will be coming as quick actions. So this we have recently added purchase requests in India. So this is a, again a classic page only. Everything is there. And click on it and then let us log out and log in and then wait for two more minutes. Oh, sorry. Okay. I made a change. Uh, okay. I made a change in the role actually. Fine. So if there is a role change, then what you do is you run the import user role. Okay. Whenever a role change is happening, then what happens if we had an import user role that you have to run? So then only what happens, the changes will be effective actually. So go there. You don't see whether it has come or not without that. Now I click on the procurement. If it comes, it's great actually. So purchase requisitions is not confirmed. Purchase orders new has not come. So we will not run the import user role for importing the setup for that thing and uh, to be synced to the transaction system. So I click on what is the scheduled process. to consider a new process. Ah. Import user role. Click on OK. So click on Submit. It's not running, so we'll now wait for some time for this. It will not take approximately five minutes for this content to run. Now, let me pause the record. So, the import user role uh, program is still running actually, and then it has now triggered so many index entities, and then they've all succeeded. So, let us now go there and then we'll now log and log in and then see whether the changes have got effective or not. Now, click on it. I will not sign out and sign in. Click on sign in. I'm going to purchase orders. So go to the procurement. Click on the procurement. Now the purchase orders are there. Here you can see the purchase orders new has come. This is basically a redwood enabled one. But if you click on it, you will now be taken to the redwood one. Because of the role customization adding on privilege, it has now landed up on this. So if you want, you can even use it. So this is still not a development actually. Maybe after some time, it will be getting enriched with all the features of the normal classic page actually. So click on the purchase orders. And then it's almost the same, fine. All the activity is the same. But the biggest advantage is what it is uh, AA enabled actually. So we can even uh, do a lot of activities on the AA actually. So that you will understand it. Now we will not try to incorporate as an icon on this now. Fine, click on it. You now coming on the left hand side as a purchase order is new now. Now coming as well. Let us not try to add it as an icon here. Now see whether it's possible or not. I'm not sure about it. 
I'm not going to test it now. I'm going to tools. I'm going to the configuration and I'm going to the sandboxes now. Let us now create a sandbox for this for the structure modification actually. So click on create sandbox. Almost it's one, one, two, two. And then enable the structure here. And then click on create and enter. You know, creating it now. Mm -hmm. We'll have a look at it now. And now we are entering into the sandbox mode. During the sandbox mode, do not do any setups or any transactions actually. Entering and then here, we we'll go to the tools and then go to the structure. I go to the tools and then go to the structure. So go to the tools and then go to the structure. So there, we will now see under the procurement. Expand the procurement. Whether the purchase order is new is there or not as I enter. Purchase requisition is coming. Purchase orders. So there is no entry for the purchase orders new here. Now. So purchase requisition new is a good entry. But purchase orders new is not there. Okay, ma, okay, ma. Okay. Okay, so all the things, whatever has been given, everything has been enabled, purchase orders, new is not there. So probably you make an R&D, fine. It may be even uh, po possible for you to do it. If I do it, please inform me, I will also learn from it. So this is the way we can enable the Redwood pages for the purchase orders. So the normal page as well as the Redwood enabled pages are available. So we have seen this in this place. Go to the procurement, and this is a normal one. This is a new one, and if you click on it, you will now find the classic page coming up. <clears throat> so gradually, they are shifting everything into Redwood, so that they will now provide you more enhancements to the functionality as well as the A capability also. So this is all under process actually. So it will take some more time for the entire thing to stabilize actually. So that's it from me as far as purchase orders in Redwood pages actually. Bye for now.